Well, hi everybody, this is Michelle with Creative Operation. I'm back again to do our Crafty Goals collab. This is hashtag Crafty Goals 2023, hosted by Debbie Alley, and um, there will be links down below to the other creators who are working on this project as well. So um, in today's particular video, I had told you last time that I was gonna work on my meal plan finally, and I finally did. And uh, it's only taken me four months to get going on this, but it's been, um, you know, quite busy um anyway and i did actually get one of my huge goals done um i well couple goals done actually i am going to be leaving for a country craft creations um, in-person retreat on wednesday so i've been really busy trying to get ready for that um i will be teaching one of the um the classes for that so it's been uh, quite a lot of work um, trying to get that done and organized and everything but um, I'm excited and I can't wait to go and then I also finally finished the Afghan or at least one of the Afghans I have one more to go so um, I've been working on the other one and uh, I've got the the first one done so I'm gonna put a picture of that in right now so you can see that there's like really proof that I did it And it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think she's really going to like it. So um, I'm working on the second one. Hopefully that will get done. My goal is to make sure that that one, the second one is done by the mid part of July because we are going to go on a trip and I want to take it with us. So um, anyway, and then here's the menu plan. So I wanted to kind of go through the menu plan here. This is one of my happy planner kind of half planners. And this one came out a couple years ago. Um, I had used this as a menu planner before, but, um, I kind of lost track the last several months and I haven't been using it, but, um, I'm trying to get back into doing meal planning and doing all that stuff. So, um, I just wanted to share with you what April looked like. So, on this side of the page, what I'm doing is a shopping list. So as I go through the week, um, I write things down. I am, I'm horrible. I, even though I shop like online and I go to the store and pick it up, I'm really horrible at like when I need something, you know, like pulling out my phone and putting it in the list. So it's nice to have something handy where I could just write it down. So I always keep a pen with me and, you know, um, write it down as I need it. So then I go through and I do meal planning. And so I think I've like, I've told you, and if you're new to this, then I'll kind of go through this again. But with my work schedule, the way it goes is I meal prep on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then on, um, on Fridays, and it doesn't show this in this list, but on Fridays, I usually do my imperfect produce order. So um, it's also been called imperfect foods. And I think right now they're kind of merging with another um, uh, company, but basically it's foods that either they have surplus of, or they've changed the labels of, or, you know, whatever, but it's everything from fruits and vegetables to, um, you know, some pet products. And I can get canned foods, I can get frozen foods, I can get organic, um, you name it, you can pretty much get it. And if you wanted to in your entire, you know, you could do your entire shopping with them. Um, but anyway, um, so I usually do that order on Friday night. Um, they get delivered on Wednesday, which is perfect because that's a meal prep day for me. So, um, and then on Saturday, I do my regular grocery shopping for anything that I need that I can't get through them. So um, I usually do that order on Saturday and then pick it up on Sunday. So that's kind of like where my plan is as far as how I um, do my food. Now, I kind of have a plan. And sometimes it changes or I switch it around or whatever. Um, but... That's kind of the general idea. So this is the following week. And this one, I didn't get too crazy with any stickers, but I did write down some things that I absolutely needed. And then I went through and this is what we had. Um, there were, um, you know, if, if we go out for dinner, if something happens and we decide to go out for dinner, I write that down just so that, you know, I just have a little record of. This one's not too fancy, but this one here, the following week, um, didn't do really good on my shopping list, but I ended up getting what I needed. And, um, I did put a few little stickers, but like I said, Mondays, Wednesdays, I prep. So that means that like on Monday nights, I cook for Monday and Tuesday. And then that way, when I get home from Tuesday dinner or Tuesday after work, I don't have to cook dinner. And same thing with Wednesdays. The Wednesdays have been a leftover night because it's a bowling night. My husband leaves for, um, 
bowling a little bit early in the evening, so we usually kind of do some leftover kind of things. Sometimes I call it fend for yourself, but that's 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 what we do. So anyway, that's what it looked like. So then um, last week, here's what that looked like. And um, again, I'm getting ready for my trip, so I had a little list of stuff I needed for that. Um, yeah, just kind of the same kind of thing. So this is what I've been using. It works out really good for me, and if I can kind of get my ducks in a row and kind of figure out what I want and get it on the shopping list, then, you know, this shopping list usually is for this week, so I can kind of do some planning um, ahead of time, which works out really well. Um, so for this week, uh, I'm off for Utah, or off to Utah on Wednesday, so it's going to be kind of, uh, my husband's going to end up fending for himself, because uh, I'm the one that's going to be out of town, he's going to be home, and uh, I'm not really sure what he's going to do, because, uh, you know, he's going to be batching it, so... <laughs> I didn't make a whole lot of plans for this week, but I do need to worry about tonight and tomorrow. So um, I do have a plan for that, which after the video, I got to get started on. So <laughs> with my meal prepping. So anyways, that's what's going on um, with me. That's kind of the update. I uh, did do my um, crafty goals as far as getting my design team projects done for Country Craft Creations. I did work on that. Um, I also had a goal of trying to get QR codes done um for some projects that I have at the Country Craft Creations brick and mortar store so I did that um I got that done and um yeah as far as cleaning my room not even close <laughs> so you know that that didn't happen but you know what there's always next month um yeah I I think after this trip now that that's all kind of going to be settled down and I don't have um you know that uh, on my plate as well as everything else. I think I'm going to try and uh, really start working on that. So hopefully that will be my goal for when I get back. So maybe by next month, I'll be able to, um, you know, share with you that plan. But anyways, that's kind of where we're at um, with my, oh, I guess I could show you this real quick. Um, I also, I don't know, I did this a long, long, long time ago, but basically it's just um, a, like a master shopping list that I can go through and, um, you know, baking needs, beverages. I mean, you know, you guys, I'm a planner geek, I swear. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Canned foods that we usually get, cleaning stuff, um, you know, you name it. I've got kind of categories and whatnot. And then I have also like where like specific products, if they're at a specific store, I always have notes on that too. So, um, yeah, I'm <clears throat> definitely... A planner girl, that's for sure. I like to write stuff down, but then it uses my stickers too. So I did that. Um, yeah, pet supplies, uh, my favorite stores that I go to, you know, if I need to call them for something. So I've got quite the little shopping planner here. Um, I do have an envelope for coupons, but you can see I don't have any in there yet. And um, yeah, so there's some other pages. Um, this one was specifically made for grocery lists and meal planning. So yeah. That's my planner. So, okay, I'm done. Uh, thanks for listening to me, Yammer, and I will talk to you again soon. I will be back in June, and I will do June's Crafty Goals 2023. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.